OptiBPM is a comprehensive CAD environment used for the design of optical waveguides. Based on the beam propagation method, or BPM, of simulating light passage through any waveguide medium, OptiBPM allows designers to observe computer simulated light field distribution. In BPM, the radiation field and guided field are observed simultaneously. The material system for this example is aluminum gallium arsenide. The ridge structure forms a waveguide and supports TE and TM waves, although only the TE mode is excited in our example. The electrodes marked in blue and purple are metal and do not significantly intersect the guided mode since it is existing mostly in the film structure underneath the ridge. When the electrodes have a potential difference, the electric field is predominantly vertical and it affects the light propagation. The refractive index of the material is modified slightly by the electro-optic effect. The effect is small, however, it can make a significant difference in the phase of the optical wave after propagation over a long distance, on the order of a centimeter. In this project, the electro-optic coefficient is as follows. In this material system, only the vertical component of the electric field will affect the refractive index. To calculate the electric field, the electrodes, purple and blue rectangles, are set to the following potentials. Purple is ground, and blue is 17.8 volts. OptiBPM finds the electric field and knowledge of the material permittivity by solving the Laplace equation. So if permittivity is known for all these materials in the layout, it can solve the boundary value problem defined by the potential values of the electrodes. The boundary value on the outside is the Neumann boundary condition. To solve the boundary value problem, we simply open the layout in the OptiBPM solver. Here we see a different coordinate system, where the direction of propagation is left to right. Here's the refractive index distribution. We want to find the electric field created by the electrodes, so we go to Simulation, Electro-Optical Solver, and click Calculate. We can find the solution to this problem at any propagation distance using the slider bar. The data is presented in various views. Here we're going to look at the XY plane and select the refractive index checkbox and select the solution found for the electrostatic potential. The lines shown are lines of constant potential. From this solution, the basic electrical properties of the electrodes such as the capacitance per unit distance, traveling wave impedance, and phase velocity can be estimated from this field pattern. We can also look at the data from different areas of the refractive index by adjusting the slider. After the application of the electric field and the modification of the refractive index, it is possible to analyze the propagation using BPM. First, let's run the simulation. Select Simulation, Calculate 3D Isotropic, and click Run. Here the view can either be shown in the XY plane or the propagation plane. Right now we are viewing the amplitude of our wave. However, it is important to look at the phase to observe how it is being modified by the electro-optical effect. Starting at zero, we see the phase falls behind and eventually reaches a shift of minus pi after a propagation of approximately one centimeter. If we go to our X-plane view, right-click and select the slice selector, we can use the slider to view the phase at different points of propagation.